Hey everyone, so ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about a couple storms that we are tracking. One happens to be over the southeast and it's going to move over into the mid-Atlantic and northeast overnight to tonight into tomorrow. And then the other big story is going to be finally we are going to see some precipitation quite a lot of precipitation coming to the west coast but first like i mentioned in my last video i was going to talk about the potential of maybe another east coast snowstorm now it's not going to happen that big of a deal we are going to have some light to maybe some moderate snowfall coming across the middle atlantic and into the northeast tonight into tomorrow on wednesday but really it's not going to be a blockbuster storm as they were trying to predict earlier uh, this past weekend and everything. Right now the system is just starting to get started over here in the Texas area. It's going to move along the Gulf Coast and then reemerge over the southeast and then pretty much just head a little bit further east than most of the storms uh, this winter have off the coast so that way it's only going to bring back some light snow showers to uh, the coastal areas and interior northeast. A general one to maybe one to three inches, um, that's all from um, this uh, system from basically Boston all the way down to the mid-Atlantic and everything tomorrow. So not going to be a big blockbuster storm at all and everything. It is going to be cold though tomorrow. Temperatures are only going to be right around in the 20s to lower 30s as we get another uh, cold shot of air like I mentioned in my last video. Um, another polar pretty much outbreak um, happening and everything. So that's going to come into the picture tomorrow and obviously that's going to help support you know the snowfall and everything. But mainly on grassy surfaces um, by Thursday, Friday, especially the temperatures are going to start warming up again back into the lower 40s. So basically anything that falls tomorrow on the grassy surfaces or even the pavement, it's all going to be gone by this weekend. Um, just in time for another snowstorm next week, but you know, that will come later. So basically over here into the mid-Atlantic and northeast, you don't have to worry about, oh my god, you know, like school's going to be canceled, work's going to be canceled, I'm going to have to shovel all the snow. Um, not tomorrow, folks. Just, you know, a light dusting to maybe an inch or two that's not you know the big story um anymore the big story now is that we are finally going to see not one but two systems coming on shore on the west coast the first system is coming on shore uh, basically um today and going into tomorrow and just spreading rain and mountain snow over the pretty much the entire west coast however it's not going to be as impactful as the next system behind that's going to be this one is going to just be a little impulse that brings some moisture into the drought stricken areas. This weekend, Saturday and Sunday is when we're really going to see a lot of rain spread, especially into the California and Nevada area. And there goes my sticking out once again. Basically, we're going to have a lot of rain over San Francisco this weekend, three to five inches, actually. Um, that's going to help out a lot in the drought. Not help out a lot, but it's definitely going to put a somewhat of a dent in it. I mean, we are, we are like inches, feet below normal um, in this part of the country and everything. Just the drought is so bad. Um, but it definitely, you know, any precipitation is going to help. So three to five inches in the um, San Francisco Bay Area, it's going to help, you know, somewhat, you know, so that way the drought doesn't get, you know, worse and everything. Um, we are going to have Sierra, um, the Sierra Mountains and everything are going to pick up, you know, a few inches to possibly a foot or two of snow. So that's also going to help out with, you know, um, the water tables and everything because uh, California mainly looks toward the Sierra Nevada for their water supply during the summer. It's been so low, obviously, because we haven't had any precipitation. But finally, this weekend, we are going to get some of that snow and um, snowpack into the mountains. So that will definitely help out, you know, somewhat, you know, not a whole lot, but somewhat as we go, you know, deeper into um, parts of this uh, spring and going into summer and everything. Obviously, the rain is going to spread uh, eastward into the rest of the uh, rocky basin and everything and then spread obviously into the Midwest uh, next week and everything and I'll do another video next week about a possible um, new snowstorm um, in the middle of the country but very very good news we are finally seeing the moisture come on shore to the west coast so thank you mother nature for bringing us some um, you know relief 
from the drought and everything. Not a whole ton of precipitation, but anything is better than none, um, obviously. So that is my video for today, and you can check out some of my other videos on my channel if you'd like to. Remember to keep your eye to the sky, and I'll see you all next time.